Bang, bang. If you want to cover acres, you better run. This is going to work phenomenally well, economically well, as far as saving dollars. How's it going folks? Mike with New Way Ag. Me and Jay are headed out to do a little project. We're going to pick up Landon, the camera guy, when we get there. Got the New Way Ag trailer. Just a small project, but the farmer needs it done and he needs it done now. So that's what we're going to do. Head out there and uh, knock this out for him. We got a tight turn to make to get in here. New Way Ag trailer should have no problem. How far is it? Six miles. Okay, so it's a little ways from here. Okay, we're uh, following the farmer. There's three different fields, and he has a total of 25 acres, so if you split it right down the middle, that'd be like eight acres a piece. So not big. We're just gonna put one drone in the field. You know, people might think that these drones are only made for small acres, and that's not true at all. Like, we put us in a 100 acre, 200 acre field, we can knock some acres out. We just pulled up to uh, the location here where we're gonna be spraying. Jay's flying the T50 around the boundary right now. This farmer has some issue with some weeds coming up through his beans, so he wants to get those knocked down. We got a small little strip down here next to the road we're gonna be doing, and we got another, uh, I think it's about an eight acre piece up top on that hill there. T50 is not gonna have a problem in here getting it knocked out. He's gonna go do that other field. Perfect. Jay is just wrapping up the boundaries. Check out this uh, umbrella. We have like a, a half umbrella. That way when you're landing there, you have no problem getting in. I used to think that an umbrella isn't that important, but when you're out in the sun all day, it's like, it's a huge difference. So you're definitely gonna want an umbrella. All the new way ag trailers will come with an umbrella holder. Super nice. It's nice. Okay, uploading the mission, taking its first load out. Because of this narrow field here, this is very narrow, so we're just manually flying this little portion of it. We got the generators below the flight deck. We got the batteries right here. So say I swap this battery. I'm walking over, this thing's ready to go. Get down, pull this up, might set it there. Pull this guy, drop, just like this. Boom, get that, now I can go up. And you see how little I actually moved? I was right there. Turn this thing up. Not even one step from there to there, get the battery in. If you wanna run an efficient spray operation, you have to get the new way Ag trailer. I'm telling you, it is so convenient. I can't believe that I did it without it last year, but this year I'm so excited about it because it's going to make things so much easier. Just how much easier this trailer is compared to last year. I mean, you were running off of it. You can't oh even, compare it. Not even compare it. All right, ready for the next one. Jay just sent the drone up there. We're gonna do an auto route boundary. So it's going to fly around the field, basically a, like a finish up, touch up the edges. Tell you what, you can really get precise with this type of application. We just got done with this uh, small 10 acres. So you've been farming for a long, long time, huh? How many years have you been farming? About 10 and a half years on my own. What do you think the first time that you actually see it work in your field? Because you mentioned you'd seen it in the past elsewhere. 
this worked i believe this is going to work phenomenally well economically well as far as saving dollars in the end i think we'll have more money put back from doing the spray application this way that's so cool hey i appreciate you uh letting us come out here and do this Okay, just got to the next location. We got the Matrice 30T out. We got the repeater on top of there. Drone's going on top of that hill. There's a field up there that's gonna fly up in there. I think it's only like eight acres up there that we're gonna fly. Gonna get the dirt bike off, scoot up the hill. Let's go keep an eye on this thing. This is how you can keep an eye on your drone. Get yourself a little dirt bike. It's electric powered. Get a bit a little bang, bang. It doesn't bang, bang because it's electric, but you get the drift. So the T40 would sense that hill and just stop and create a break point. Then you have to back it up, then it read it, and then it stops. But the T50, it just slows down, it reads it, and then keeps climbing down you. It is a lot better. better run. Run, Forrest, run! Keep running. Don't get locked out. Don't let your uh, guy lock you out. You're slowing me down, boy. Let's go. All right. Last location, we're going to get this thing knocked out real quick. We got two loads to do on this field, so not very big. It'll get it knocked out in a couple minutes. Wrapped up, we're gonna call it a day. Didn't take long. Could have done it faster if we really wanted to, but we wanna document this for you guys, show you how efficient these things can be. Spray in tight little areas or big areas. Give it to us and we'll spray it all, I'm telling you guys. Guarantee it that you're gonna see these drones at a farm field near you. You know, your buddies might say, no way, the drones are gonna spray it. I'm telling you, new way. It's the new way. Show them the new way. I appreciate it. Hit the subscribe and we'll see you guys on the next one. Yeah. We'll just uh, hop off and I'll get you. Are you guys rolling out that way? Hi. There's a camera right there. Uh. <laughs> it was blocked Freaking the whole cameras time. everywhere. <laughs> How do you guys like us? We look like little goobers. Hi. Uh.